Our last speaker is Ronique Hawkins. She's the founder of the anti-lynching movement and a passionate fighter uh, for social justice. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I am uh, one of the producers of the untold story of Emmett Lewis Till, and from there, I founded an organization called the Anti-Lynching Movement, which is now known as the ALM Foundation, basically because lynching still continues in many different ways. Um, South Carolina, one of the courts there in South Carolina, redefines lynching as the beating of an accused person where the person actually survives. But what about when the person has their life taken for something that they didn't do, which brings us to the original definition of lynching, which is the killing of an accused person by a mob without court action. If we fast forward, we go from Emmett Till to uh, Amadou Diallo to Sean Bell to Timothy Stansberry Jr. and all of the other police brutality victims as well. But what about the killing of an accused person by the wrongful court action? Clearly the people, uh, you know, people like Lawrence and Jeff and some of the other representatives who have been falsely accused or who have been on death row, you know, clearly they have been affected by wrongful court action. So this has destroyed needless families, needless, uh, you know, the, the physical toll, the psychological toll, the mental toll that it takes on inmates, and particularly in Kenneth's case, because of the law of parties. Uh, when I got a chance to speak to Nadisha, who is his daughter, she's going to be 12 years old pretty soon, but she, she's her last memories of touching her father was when she was a baby and uh, you know which brings us to how many other people just like Kenneth you know who have children who are going through this you know the physical toll the psychological toll the mental toll that laws like the law of parties takes is just needless it's barbaric and it needs to stop so hopefully we'll do whatever we can to save Kenneth Foster and others thank you